we're going to be looking at EDP and paper 2, 2015. We're going to be scrolling through some of the questions and looking at some of the things we would have done if we were typing it. So two, number 2A, two, that is, is asking you to create a letter in semi-block style. And we have been through semi-block style features already, so we know what to do where that is concerned. Well, let me remind you as to what you would do if you were to insert today's date here. All right, so to insert today's date, you would click on Insert. Then under Text Grouping, you would select Date and Time, and then select the format that you like, of course, and then, they ins then insert the date and select OK. Remember that? All right, here, quick reminder, what would you do when you see NP? You would put that in a new paragraph. What about here, with the two lines under the letter, what would you do there? We'll put it in uppercase. So wherever you see the two lines under a particular letter, you know you change the case for it. All right, let us scroll down. Yes, so we see administration, the two lines are there, you know it would be capital A. Cross out NP, you know that they don't want you to bother to put that in a new paragraph. You remember? Deputy, direction, those you know would be in capital letter. What, 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 what do they mean by this? Everything in the balloon would be moved to where the, air, the arrow is pointing, right above here. And you know below that would be in a new paragraph. See NP there? Yes. Again, you have two lines under the T here, and you know that T should be a capital letter. It's looking at what? Initial caps there. All right, let me move down to the next one. YRS. Who remembers the abbreviation YRS? Yours in this case, but another meaning is years. But in this case, it is yours. And what else? Uppercase Y. You notice that double line is under it too? What else? Look. Sincerely should be spelled out and a comma after sincerely. Okay, okay. Let's just move to the next page. This says you have to use the table function to create the required columns. How do you create a table? Click on insert and then table and then you select insert table and choose the amount of column and rows that you want and then you select OK and then of course you populate your columns with whatever information that needs to go in there. Just move to the, to the next balloon. Comment balloon again. You notice you have a couple letters with double line under it. So you know again that means to put it in capital letter, right? Same thing there, right here and right here. What does this mean? A line left. What if the line was the two lines were were slant? We're in a slant position. New paragraph. Very good. So once it is straight, you know it means to align it left. Sometimes you will see three lines, sometimes you will see two. And again, that balloon, information in that balloon would go where the arrow is pointing. And there is a double line under the E for employee, both in the balloon and outside of the balloon, both here and there. In a long. You realize most of the, the things that you would have done have been repeated. Yes. All right. So this says you have to create a pie chart.
to show total current assets and total current liabilities of the company. And it says include a suitable title and the labels. How do you even create a chart to begin with? Is that the first step? You just go to insert? You have to, yes, Tremaine, you have to block the data needed for the chart. You listening? You have to block the data needed for the chart. That's the first thing. Otherwise, you will get a blank chart if you don't select the data needed for it. Then now you click on insert and then you go to chart and select the chart that you need. In this case, what chart do we need? A pie chart. What would you do after that? Put in your appropriate title and labels. All right. Just scroll down. What is this telling you? A line left. So whatever is in that column should be aligned in the left side, on the left side. <clears throat> Same thing here. And of course, you see double lines under these letters, which means you have to put it in capital letter. Moving along, the arrow pointing to the left. Not in dent. If the arrow was pointing to the right, it would be in dent, but this time it is pointing to the left. So it means you have to pull it to the align it left. All right. The other um, manuscript signs there are pretty easy. We have been through it over and over, so I will not go through those. I'm moving on to moving along, moving along. Oh, that's it. Oh, that's it. So that's it for 2015.